Hi, I'm Brother Charles, and welcome to part four in this series of review videos about Mixcraft Pro Studio 6. The piano sounds you've just heard and the interface you're looking at belong to Acoustica's Pianissimo. Pianissimo is a virtual grand piano. It's actually a sample library of a Steinway Model D 9-foot grand. It offers four velocity layers and a beautiful built-in algorithmic reverb. By itself, it sells for about $65 or $70 on the Acoustica website, but it is bundled with and is included as part of the virtual instrument collection that is delivered with Mixcraft Pro Studio 6. Pianissimo includes 10 presets that range in sound from noisy honky-tonk piano, 80s ballad, mellow sounds, and typical standard grand piano type sounds. You can adjust the amount of hammer sounds that are mixed in with the samples. You have full control over bass, mid and high frequency ranges. You have a chorusing effect, sympathetic response and control over the amount of velocity. The built-in algorithmic reverb ranges from small rooms up to cathedral and large halls. The master volume gives you full control of your output volume and you can adjust the lid position. As you can hear, these make quite a bit of difference in the sound of pianissimo. It's easy to select a segment of your MIDI or audio material and set it as a loop region. You do that by simply dragging the selected area of your choosing and then clicking on the loop button. It's also noteworthy to see that it's just so simple within Mixcraft to set your snap. This feature forces precise cursor positioning. So right now I have it set to quarter notes. Although I want to click in between these two areas, I can't because it's set to quarter notes. If I set it to eighth, I can select directly in the middle, but not anything else. The same holds true for 16th, 32nd, 64th notes, quarter triplet notes, eighth triplet notes, or 16th triplet notes. This feature is particularly handy when you want to be able to select and move an entire piece of audio. Or, let's say alternatively, I want to select measures 1 to 4 here. I will make sure that I can grab no more than half note segments. Drag it, choose cut. Now I can paste that on a different channel if I want different track rather. Let me zoom this up so that you can see more easily. If I want to move this segment of audio, I want to be precise, not leave it to chance. Right now the snap is set to half notes, so I can only select the even measure or the midway point of the measure. In other words, the half note region. If I want to make a little finer control and select quarters, I can do that as well. You see that you can do this from anywhere from half notes all the way to 64th notes, from quarter triplet notes up to 16th triplet notes. If I want to select a segment of audio or MIDI data for editing purposes, I need only find my insertion point, right click and choose split. Now that this audio has been split, I can double click on it and it will bring up the piano roll editor. As you can see, at the split point I have all the notes available to me for editing. I want to clean this up, so I'll right click on my segment of MIDI data and choose Merge. 
Now the MIDI editor window, or piano roll editor, displays only the data that I want to manipulate. Optionally, I can undock the window, maximize it, and work in a larger work area. If I had a multi-monitor setup, I could drag this window over to the other monitor. Within the piano roll editor, I can create new notes by either whole notes, half, quarter, eighth, sixteenth, thirty-second notes, or as simple dots. I can select all the notes by pressing Ctrl plus the A key on my computer keyboard and adjust the velocity of all MIDI notes easily here. The MIDI options that I have available to me are quantizing, humanizing, transposition, changing velocities up or down, as well as by offsets, durations, soloizing, and I can select by velocity. Let me show you what I mean. Let's say I want to select every note in this MIDI data segment between 40 and 80. There, only the notes between velocity level of 40 and 80 are selected. Mixcraft Pro Studio 6 ships with three example project files, one of which is Rapunzel. I've loaded Rapunzel up into the DAW. Let's take a look at how many tracks there are. In total, there are 15 tracks, including a submix for background vocals, which includes three channels, and also the drum submix, which includes the channels for kick, snare, tom, cymbals and overheads, and room. One of my favorite features, visually, about Mixcraft is the mixer window. Let's play back this project file so you can see and hear it in action. You can right click on any fader, which gives you options to mute, solo, adjust volume, panning, the track color, the track height, and an image. To mix down your multiple channels to a single file, you simply click on File, Mix Down To, and choose your format, whether that be MP3, AUG, WMA, or WAV. I usually mix down to the WAV format. If it prompts you to save, you can do so. Here, you're given the options to choose the file format that you want to save your resultant project in. I typically choose standard CD quality 44.1 kHz at 16 bits. You can specify your settings if you choose and select all the way up to 192 kHz sampling rate and a bit depth of up to 24-bit mono or stereo. 